Hello fellow traders and welcome to a special webinar dedicated to algorithmic trading. We will look at whether it is suitable for beginners and how to get started. Whether you are a complete beginner or not, we will show you quite an interesting method that you may not be familiar with yet. My name is Ellie Sochkova and I'm going to be your guide through this webinar that we've prepared together with my colleague Zdeněk Sidnezanka, who is one of the co-owners of Strategic Wand and has been involved in algorithmic trading for more or less a decade. He is mainly responsible for education, so I will speak on his behalf to ensure that all the information flows smoothly, that everything gets to you in English, my main job is to translate and process all our educational materials for you. There are dozens of hours of material and we want to give it all to you so that you can achieve really great results in algorithmic trading. And I make sure that it's all available to you globally and not just in the Czech Republic where we are from. We are a Czechoslovakian company and we come from a small country in the middle of Europe with only 10 million inhabitants. And it would be a huge shame to keep this information just for us, but you are lucky because you have me. So today I'm going to speak on behalf of Sydney, who I did the webinar with. And what will the content of today's webinar be? We are going to look at the basics. We are going to bounce around on those. We are going to quickly go through the theoretical basics that are necessary to make sure you understand everything without any problems. We will talk about what a trading strategy is, what automated trading strategies are. We will take a look at the most common myths about automated strategies and then we will say where you can use automated strategies and how to get automated strategies. In the second kind of practical part, we will look at how to build automated strategies yourself, because this is definitely the best way to get automated strategies. And we will show you how to build the strategies right in practice so you can see everything in a kind of real environment. And finally, we will talk about how you can get started with automated strategies too. And this time we've got something extra for you, like special offer. So don't let that pass you by. Now let's get started. What is a trading strategy? Many of you will know, but we've included here for completeness. A trading strategy simply means some set of rules that we trade by. And a strategy will tell us, for example, that we have an entry level, that's the level where we enter position, and that we have a risk placed here, for example, a $50 stop loss. And on the other side, we have a profit target of $150 placed. That's the output of our strategy. It tells me when I enter, when I exit, how I handle the trade and so on. It tells me exactly how I behave during the trade. It's more or less a set of rules for me to make profits and make profits from trading the stock market over the long term. Of course, a strategy has to have ground rules. You can't do without them. You can't skip ground rules. A strategy must have an edge. It must trade situations that lead to profits over the long term and which we then actually trade. This means that how the strategy works must itself be functional and must bring us profits in the long term. A lot of strategies that traders use like uh, grassy moving averages and such don't work and in the real world will wipe out your account in the long run. But you need the exact opposite. You need to have entry level strategies that will work and make you profits. You need to trade the strategy systematically. That means following the rules. When a strategy has rules, you have to follow them like a robot. That means you have to trade regularly. You have to evaluate every trade the same way. So 
if I evaluate a trade entry today and I look at the same chart a month from now, I have to evaluate the trade entry again so that everything is systematic so that my results are replicable and so that I can make a long term profit. We have to trade with our emotions because they can make the results significantly worse, extremely. This means that we need to turn our emotions off when trading so that they have no impact on our results. Even if you look at the basic rules of strategy, it's kind of clear that automated strategies are likely to have some advantages here, but we will get to that over time. When I compare automated and discretionary trading uh, or those automated strategies that trade on their own without our input and discretionary trading itself, whether you trade automatically or discretionary, you always need a strategy before you start to trade. So the first step is always finding a strategy. I look for a strategy and once I have it, I watch the market and wait for specific signals. I wait for the signals like you saw on that chart, for example. And once the signal comes, I execute the trade. I enter the trade, I specify the risk, I specify the exit and so on. And the last step is evaluating the results of the long term. You keep a trade journal, you look at the long term results and so on. The huge advantage is that with automated strategies, you can automate this. Watching the market and executing trades is 90% of a trader's job and we can automate this very efficiently. Imagine if you could reduce the complexity of trading to 10%. 90% of the time you would save. How would you like that? I think pretty much so, don't you? And that, among other things, is what automated trading is all about. But we still have to evaluate the results and we still have to find our strategies. The good news is that we can do something here too. We can also automate the search for strategies for the most part. I'm going to show you that in practice today so you can see how it works in real life. We do not need to know how to program or code to create a strategy. That's a game changer because until recently, Automated strategies were only available to programmers who could code everything themselves. Today, that's no longer necessary. We have the software to do it. You don't need to be a programmer to trade your own automated strategies, nor you need to use builders that can usually only do half the things you would need. It's important to point out a very, very important thing. Finding strategies is not just about historical behavior, how that strategy did previous 10 years, but also about the quality of that strategy. We want a strategy that has not only traded well in the past, but we want a strategy that will profit in the future. And to do that, we use robustness tests or quality tests. You have to keep all of this in mind when looking for strategies. Whether you want to trade automated strategies or discretionary trading, it's not just about history, but also about how the strategy will perform in the future. But we are talking about automated trading here. So the important part is that we can automate this process for the most part very efficiently. One is sort of inherently afraid of automation very often because automation means that you don't have control over it, over something. But the fact is that automation is pretty much everywhere in our lives. For example, here I have a comparison of what a car production line looked like in the 1960s. And you see a lot of people working to assemble cars. But today, car production looks like this. And are the cars of poor quality or unusable? Do they run badly or break down after a few miles or kilometers? 
I don't think so. Personally, I have to say I'm very, very happy with the car I have, as are most people in my neighborhood. And automation hasn't hurt it. On the contrary, the price of cars has gone down because production has sped up and everything has become more efficient. Automation, if used wisely, can make the whole process very efficient. There's even research that I think Paul Mellit, which was on automated versus discretionary decision making. He looked at 20 different areas like weather forecasting, releasing prisoners on parole and so on. In short, he looked at different scenarios in which you can make automatic versus discretionary decisions. And in essentially all 20 cases, automatic process gave better results than discretionary decision making. Whether it was financial markets, healthcare issues, everywhere a simple algorithm worked better than discretionary decision making. The reason is very simple. Humans and the human minds are desperately inefficient and inconsistent, whereas an automated machine is consistent. So. For example, with cars, a human will make a car's door a little different every time and an automatic machine will always make them the same. And that's the power of automation. If used effectively, correctly and intelligently, it can help you enormously. And as you can see from this, this study, Human judgment has never been better than that of an automaton. So we shouldn't be undully worried about it because automation in our lives helps us rather than harm us in any way. Why automated strategies at all? When Sydney started 16 years ago, he was pretty much against automated strategies because he kept telling himself that automated strategies can never replace humans, so they can't work. That was his typical thought. Today, after 10 years of being involved in automated strategies, he says with peace of mind, thank God automated strategies can't replace humans because they don't make mistakes. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's basically a um, dream employee. Humans make lots of mistakes, but automated strategies do not. The human makes inconsistent decisions. The automated strategy makes consistent decisions. The human gets tired, of course, but the automated strategy doesn't get tired. One advantage after another and you can benefit from these advantages perfectly. So, the automated strategy is a kind of dream employee for you. You, as a discretionary trader, are a kind of worker who sits in front of the computer looking for signals and has to slavishly do all the work sitting at it for 10 hours a day. Many times you don't make a trade for a week straight, but you have to be there waiting for a particular signal to enter a position. But as a trader with automated strategies, you are a manager. You have, for example, 30 or 40 automated strategies, which are the workers that work for you and you just supervise them. You analyze their results, uh, supervise how they behave, how they trade, and if one of them is not doing well, you fire it and replace it with something more experienced, something that has better results. And it costs you much less time. You are much more efficient. And I think that everybody knows that a manager earns more than a regular worker. And I think everyone would agree with that. A good manager who can manage employees well and build a team in this case, a team of automated strategies will earn more than a regular worker who just uh, to toil at a machine. That's the way it has always been. That's uh, the way it is. And that's the way it will always be. And it's up to you which side you personally want to be on. 
Now let's take a look at the most common myths about automated strategies because there are a lot of myths about them and about automated trading in general, unfortunately. But the vast majority of them are nonsense, mostly coming from people who have no experience with automated strategies and have never touched them. So let's quickly go over the most important ones. First one. A lot of people say that you have to be good at math to do automated strategies. This is nonsense. Sidney says that if he had to be good at math, he would never be a good algo trader. Warren Buffett said the same thing. If he had to be good at math, he could never be an investor. So you do not have to be good at math. You have to be consistent, you have to be dedicated, you have to understand and know what you are doing. You can't simply do like nonsense. Number two, the other myth is that you have to know how to program or code. That's not true anymore. Sidney is not a programmer and has been trading his own strategies for 10 years. And he doesn't even need to pay programmers. He simply doesn't need programming at all. Number three, a lot of people also say it's a black box, that you don't know what the strategy does. Of course, there are such automated strategies, but we won't discuss that. What we will do in the practical part is to show you strategies that are absolutely no black box. You will know exactly what the strategy does, how it works, on what basis it enters, exits, what its risks are, what its potential profits are. You will know everything about the strategies and I will show you everything a bit later. Number four. You have to be very, very highly educated. You have to have a college degree, blah, 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 nonsense. Again, Sydney doesn't have a college degree. It was more important for him to make money because he's not from a wealthy background. Everything he's built in his life, he had to build himself. So he worked rather than go to college and kind of lose six years of his life. He doesn't have a college degree and he's totally fine. And the last one, number five, you have to sit in front of a computer from morning till night and automate the strategies that make money anyway. We will even show you the results so you can see the automated strategies work and you don't have to sit at them from morning to night. With the method we use, you only need an hour a day and you can be very effective. These are such common myths and we can tell you from our own experience that none of these are true and it is very easy to dispel these myths after just a few weeks of experience that you will have with automated strategies. And where, in what markets, can you use automated strategies? You can use them in almost all markets, whether it's Forex, uh, currency pair, Euro, USD, and so on, or cryptocurrencies, futures, so crude oil, gold, or corn. You can use them on stock indexes and on individual stocks through stock picking. But there, beware of one thing. Stock picking is specific in that there is no trading platform yet through which stock picking can be traded well. We are working on it, we are preparing the platform and I will mention it briefly in this webinar also. We expect that a beta version could be available during April. So stock picking can be done, but it's not yet available for regular traders, but it will be soon because we are working on it. Strategic one then contains data for all those markets. Sydney and his colleague have pushed for Strategic One to have not only Forex and cryptocurrency data in it, but also futures and stocks, stock indexes, and so on. It's data that's expensive. We honestly pay a lot of money for it, but we know that it adds so much value to the clients and the people 
who used tragic one that we just made sure it was all there because the value added by that is huge and again we will show you that in the practical part now how to get automated strategies when you find it's something you want to pursue the first thing most people think of is to buy strategies just you know, find something on the internet and buy it. But this is the worst choice of all possible scenarios. There are three ways to get an automated strategy and this is the absolute worst. Why? Because they are usually bought by people who know nothing about investing and trading. They have minimal experience and they want a beautiful equity curve that grows sky high that is simply straight as line and that basically just grows without any risk and earns them like thousand of percent per year and the sellers of those strategies are so happy to oblige but only in the picture because very often these strategies are built on the martingale on permitting more and more often there are also fake accounts so they will sell you strategies that have made a million percent in a year but it's not true at all it's all scam and that's very common in the 10 years that sydney has been doing automated strategies he has never come across a strategy for sale that was worth a um, single dollar please avoid it those strategies are really built mostly to have nice rising equity curves but to only work on demo accounts or fake accounts and so on. In a live account, when you buy them, they never work, unfortunately. Another option is strategies that are free on the internet and you can find a lot of these. There are thousands of them that you can download for free. But 99.9% .9 of the time, they're worth nothing. And it's ultimately wasted energy. But, um, you know, logically, if you're going to have a top strategy that's going to generate for you 20 or 30% profit a year, why, for God's sake, would you put it on the internet for free? It doesn't make sense. And then uh, there is a third option build your own automated strategy having your own strategies that is having your own strategies that you know down to the last detail down to the last indicator the function that they use is the absolutely the best way to go because you know exactly how they work what the strategy trades what to expect and so on you know them down to the smallest detail you know their weaknesses or strengths and when something goes wrong, you can only berate yourself. And that, believe it or not, is a huge advantage. Because imagine buying a strategy from someone and the strategy deletes your account and the website where you bought the strategy ceases to exist. And that's a common scenario, it's not anything extra. Now, who would you go curse for that? You're entitled to be angry at the person who sold you the strategy, right? Yes, you are, but you can only pray yourself for falling for a scam. That's all you have left. There is no one you could curse on. But if you build a bad strategy yourself, you can only grumble at yourself. And that just a plus. What are the methods for building strategies? There are two basic ways to build an automated strategy. The traditional method and the automated method. The traditional method is the one that Sydney, for example, started with many years ago and quickly ended up with. He started it in about 2012 and ended in 2013. It wasn't even one year. The method is based on finding an idea of how you might trade. You let the idea be programmed, you do a backtest to see how the strategy has behaved historically on, for example, the last 10 years. And from there, you usually find that there are lots of ways to improve the strategy. So you tweak and tune it and get it programmed again. 
and you repeat that improvement maybe 20 times, typically you'll be stuck on uh, improvements for maybe a month. Then you do optimization of the strategy to find the ideal setup conditions, how to trade it, the ideal risk settings and so on. You test the quality, how robust the strategy is and you can deploy it on a real account or on a demo account. It's up to each of you, of course. In our experience, one strategy, one single strategy will take you three to six months of work. So it's breakneck, it's challenging and you have to be able to program. And if you can't, you have to pay a programmer and that's a very expensive proposition. Nowadays, nobody will program strategy for you in exchange for sharing the strategy with them. That's not how it works. You just have to pay. In contrast, the automated method works differently. You define the parameters according to what you want to build. For example, you want to build strategies for stock indexes on the 15 minute time frame, Euro USD, H1 and so on. Then you define your expectations in some way. Profitability, stability, strategy behavior. Then the software runs and automatically searches for strategies, automatically improves them and automatically optimizes them. So at this point, it finds the strategies, creates the code for them and thus a backtest. If the strategies meet expectations, it looks for ways to improve them and optimizes them at the same time. In one step, completely automatically, without us having to do anything, we get a strategy, including the code for TradeStation, MultiCharts, MetaTrader 405 or J4X, and it automatically improves the strategy, optimizes it and puts all the parameters into the code. So it's basically a no brainer. Then we test the quality. Uh, so whether the strategy has a chance to be profitable in the future and that we can run it. Such a strategy will take us one to two weeks of work. Work in quotes because we define the expectations and parameters and then strategy one builds the strategy most of the time. We do the quality testing then. So we actually spend half an hour or an hour a day on it and we don't have to sit there from morning to night to program it. The automated method is based on the use of artificial intelligence and using it, your computer automatically finds the strategies. You have the computer on 24 seven and it searches and evaluates strategies automatically. It automatically improves them. So it looks for ways to get better results by, for example, adding input conditions, uh, output conditions, different types of money management and so on. It automatically optimizes them to make the strategy work as best and stable as possible and automatically sorts them. That is, it automatically deletes those that do not meet your expectations and are not profitable and sorts those that meet your conditions in what is called a data bank. We will see all of this in practice. And it's up to us here to define the expectations at the beginning of the build and of course define the parameters along with that. Testing the robustness or the quality of our strategies and selecting the appropriate strategies to test on some demo account and deploy on a real account, that's up to you. Now let's compare the two methods and see what we could do in one year. You can build two to three strategies in one year using the traditional method where you will program, search and code everything yourself. Or you can build 52 strategies using the automated method. It will be a portfolio for different markets, for different situations, simply an all weather portfolio that should work in all circumstances. And then you have a portfolio of automated strategies that more or less trade for you. And it's up to you to just find new strategies if one stops doing well and you have to throw it out and replace it with a new one and evaluate the results of your strategies. Instead of sitting in front of a computer from morning till night, you don't have to sit in front of it. The automated strategies run automatically and it saves you a huge amount of time and you get much more stable results. Here is the question for you. 
what will give you a better chance of making money. One portfolio containing two or three strategies or 52 strategies on a great and very well diversified portfolio, which gives you a better chance. For us, the answer is clear, but you have to answer it for yourself. Here we have a sample and the results of one portfolio that has been running for less than a year. And you can see for yourself that in less than a year, there is over a 30 percent profit. So very good results indeed. We've also seen portfolios that have done 150 percent in a year, but we don't want to show you that too much because those are the big exceptions. Realistically, you can get returns in the tens of percent per year, which we think is a very decent considering you spend maybe an hour a day doing it. And what about software? Well, what software do we use? I've mentioned it a couple of times. It's Strategic Quant X software. Sydney started with it originally as a user. He bought it, started working with it, and later found out that it was a Czechoslovakian company that the owner was from Slovakia. When Sydney saw how great the tool was, what it could do, he joined the company because it made sense to him to be part of something like that. He started to dedicate himself even more intensively and full time to it, both to the development of the company and to the trading. And as I said, we are a Czech Slovak team and Strategic One X is nowadays used not only by retail traders. We have thousands of users all over the world for whom the software saves an incredible amount of time, but it is also used by funds and universities. For example, it's used by the Mercy the University of California, the University of Miami, University of Rome, University of Madrid, lots of universities around the world are using it to teach algorithmic trading. A lot of funds use it for money management. Over more than a decade of developing this software, we've created a cutting edge tool that I'm going to show you in practice. So let's go to Strategic Wand where I will show you what's in it, how it all works, and we will build a strategy to demonstrate. So now I'm in Strategic One and let's take a look at how to work with it. Please take this as a quick demonstration and not as manual on how to use Strategic One. It does have a lot of features. That's why those who have the full version, full license have access not only to the community on the Discord and the discussion forum, but also to the education where there are about 50 lessons on how to build strategies. And alternatively, they can purchase even more advanced courses for $390, where there are five courses, 24 hours of education and really, really, really intensive detail know-how. So we have a complete learning environment and tools for you to be able to work with Strategic One perfectly. But now I want to show you how everything works so you have an idea of how Strategic One works, how to build a strategy and what you can find here. I'm going to take it in order by tabs in the menu. I will go through it quickly and then we will get into the actual strategy building. The first step is the introductory screen getting started. I have a fairly new installation of the software, but you will see here in this table, for example, after a year of use, much higher numbers than I have here. It's a little kind of statistics for just for your interest. In the builder section, we build strategies and in the retester, we will test the quality or robustness of our strategies. In the optimizer, we can optimize the strategies or possibly do additional robustness tests, which include things like walk forward metrics. For those of you who have experience with TradeStation, you know this as cluster analysis. The next part is the data manager, where you work with the data. I said in the slideshow that you have a lot of data here, Forex, futures, stocks and cryptocurrencies. There is data from Ducas copy, data for stocks, uh, for futures, 
with the source being bot chart then we have here data from darvinx for crypto we have it from various exchanges and then from yahoo finance it should be noted that the equity and futures data are paid for separately they are not part of strategy quant pro license but they are part of the strategy quant ultimate version where you get them free for life in the pro version however you pay several hundred dollars a year for them that's because we pay a lot of money for this data ourselves the next section of the menu is custom projects where you can create your own project it's a great tool simplified you probably remember that we said we build strategies first and do robustness tests to see if the strategy has a chance of being profitable in the future and you can do maybe 5 10 or 15 of those robustness tests there are different workflows where you build differently detailed and advanced strategies here we have a simple workflow where we first clean up the data banks so that nothing gets in the way then we build strategies do more robustness tests and so on. And normally we would have to do all these steps manually in Builder and Retester. However, with custom projects, we automate all these steps and save even more time. Like I said, automated trading saves us time and if we use automation skillfully, we save time during the actual build. That's why we have this tool. The next part is AlgoWizard, where you can build your own strategies from your own ideas, which you can then refine in Builder or use them as templates. And the last part is SQ for Business, which is only included in the Strategic One Ultimate version. This is a tool you can use to sell your successful strategies to other users on the MQL market, for example and make some extra money, which can quickly pay for the strategic one license itself and also earn you some extra money. My colleague Thomas Vanek used to do this. He used to sell strategies and made quite a bit of income in the upper hundreds to thousands of dollars per month. There is also a course on how to sell strategies. It is a part of the advanced course. This advanced training package that Sydney Zanka, Cornel Mazur and Tomasz Vanik worked on and I translated. It's not included in the Ultimate version, but if you have an Ultimate license, you have the option to buy this educational package at a better price. But now let's look at the actual build of the strategies. On the Getting Started homepage, you have two buttons, Basic Setup for Forex and Basic Setup for Futures. And to keep it simple, I'm going to start building strategies for futures for stock indexes. I simply click on the four futures button. Strategic one will automatically set up and start building right away. And all we are doing in this case is we are setting the parameters for the build and what our expectations are. And I will show you what we can set up. In full settings, we select different settings options. Uh, Strategic Wand is a very advanced tool that can be used by beginners and pros alike. We will now build a simple strategy which builds for stock indexes on time frame H1. So this is a simple type of strategy. We can also build more advanced multi-time frame or multi-symbol strategies. We can build strategies from templates or enhance existing strategies. If you have your own idea for a strategy, you can create it in AlgoWizard then choose here improve existing strategy where you load your strategy and start improving it then you set the conditions like stop loss size profit target size and so on in genetic options you customize the settings of the artificial intelligence and we can completely ignore this. This is a very advanced part and even Sydney doesn't use it at all because in his experience, this setting has a minimal effect on the build. The important thing for us is the data tab where you choose which engine you want to build strategies for, whether for TradeStation, MultiCharts, MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5, both version or J4X. You can build for all those platforms. Here you select the market you want to build for, 
time frame, while you can also use custom time frame, time zone, and backtesting precision, spread, slippage, commission, and so on. You can work with all of that here. You can also work here with what's called in simple and out of sample. The next section is trading options, where you can, for example, limit your trading to different time zones, set your positions to close on Friday. There are a lot of options here, but for you, probably the most interesting part will be the building box, where you choose what indicators you want to use for building, what signals you want to use, and what order types you want to use. Exit types, again, there are just a lot of options. You guys who know how to program or code can use Java snippets to create your own indicator. You can find that under this little button. When you click on it, it will launch the code editor. Give it um, a moment. And here it is. And here you can create your own indicators. We create new indicators regularly and add them to strategic one over time, expanding the possibilities of what strategic one can work with. Another feature we are working on at the moment, which is the experimental phase, is advanced trading management. It's a thing that has been much requested, like the ability to close positions sequentially, add to positions and so on. So you open five contracts at the beginning, for example, and then you exit one contract at a time. Once you have, for example, a one to one ratio stop loss versus risk, you close one contract. When it's one to 1.5, you close the other contract and so on. By doing this, you can make a more stable outcome and a more stable equity curve. Or conversely, you can split your trade into three steps and add to the position when it goes against you. In money management, you set the position size for the backtest. Um, I will skip the cross check tab for the moment, but these are basic robustness tests. And in the ranking tab, you define what you expect. Um, basically, in these steps from what to build, to cross checks, you define the parameters, you define what you want to use in the strategy, market, time frame, indicators used, and so on. And in ranking, you define your own expectations. This means how many trades the strategy should make, what is the profit factor, risk versus drawdown ratio, or how much it should earn for every dollar risked. How we work with all these features is explained in our video courses or in the ebook that is included in the license. When you buy Strategic One, you get a 52 lesson course as well as access to the ebook, which is about 50 pages long and explains how to build future strategies. And if you want to go more in depth, you can buy a more advanced course for $390 and benefit from more detailed knowledge you will find about 24 hours of complete education. If you look at sq.academy slash courses, you will see a list of all the advanced courses we have available that are not part of Strategic Wand. We have a course on building strategies using templates, including some templates you can use, and Alco Wizard course on how you can build strategies from your own ideas and create templates, then we have a course that includes tips on live trading and on using VPS, a strategy provider course where you learn how to sell strategies. And then there's the masterclass bundle, which is a whole package of advanced courses where everything is together, a complete education for you for $390 instead of 790. This is the complete know-how experience by Sydney Zanka, Cornel Mazur and Thomas Vanek, and it's been translated into English by me. So you will have my voice guiding you through these courses again, which I hope you don't mind. If you have a strategic one ultimate license, drop us a line and we will give you an even better price because as a VIP client, you deserve a bonus, of course. But let's go back to strategic one where we are building strategies. 
I will describe some basic things on the strategies already generated. As I mentioned in the presentation in the slideshow, strategy one is not a black box, so you know how the strategies work. Here, if you open one of the strategies, you have a basic overview and you know how many dollars the strategy has made. And more importantly, you can see how many on average consecutive trades you have profitable and how many losses. This lets you know what to expect from the strategy and how the strategy behaves. There is a profit versus drawdown. That means that over that history, over the 10 years that the strategy has done the backtest, for every dollar risk, it has made a total of $6.15. And that's not too bad. You can see here the percentage of profitable trades, the average profitable trade, and that's all after all fees. The exposure indicator shows you what percentage of the time you are in the trade. This strategy had an open position about 10% of the time. But perhaps the most interesting thing is that when you switch to the source code tab, you see the open source code for TradeStation or Multicharts, for example, and there is the entire strategy in easy language. And what's totally the coolest is the pseudo code. This is a very simple description of how the strategy works. Here you can see what parameters the strategy uses, what it enters position based on. You can see the long entry signal, short entry signal, or how it works with stop losses, what stop loss, profit target, how long the order is valid, and so on. Everything down to the smallest detail. And that's a really amazing feature for me. You know very well and exactly how the strategy works and you don't absolutely need to be a programmer. And in the overview, you can see exactly what to expect. In the equity chart, you can see its historical behavior. I picked this strategy at random from what Strategic One has built for us here so far. And here you can see several data banks with the uh, results being the most interesting for us. You possibly see last generation data bank and it's just sort of a performance data bank. And also you possibly see existing portfolio data bank. And that is for when you would be upgrading your existing portfolio. In the trade analysis, you can also see statistics at what times the strategy makes the most money on what days of the week it makes the most money, how long versus short is doing. Kind of a basic overview of how the strategy is behaving. But for now, let's wait until we've built a thousand strategies to show some basic robustness test. And as you can see, the records already show us that our thousand strategies are available. Let's do some robustness testing to give you an idea of how this all works. First, I'll select all the strategies and copy them to the retester section where I will work with them further. I've built a thousand strategies here that I don't know if they have a chance of being profitable in the future. And my goal is to find that out. I'm not going to show you all the tests. We would be here a long, long time, but I will show you the basic ones so you can get an idea of what they are. I'm going to do these tests in bulk on the whole package, which will save me a lot of time. The first test is that I'm going to use data that I haven't used yet. If I look at full settings, you can see that the bill was only up to the end of August 2018. So I'll click on reset dates and set the date from September the 1st, 2018 to the newest data available. And I will see how the strategies were on the dates I didn't use during the build. See how they perform. In ranking tab, I will just leave the profit factor to be greater than 1.2 and set the return drawdown ratio since it's less than four years to 1.5. Plus, you have to remember that there was a COVID and so on. So I will leave a little bit more room for that. 
Here I click on progress, start, and strategy one should have me testing all the strategies on data it hasn't worked with yet in a moment. You can see that it's very fast. Here you can see the number of strategies that passed and here how many failed. Now I simply delete the ones that didn't pass. Click on tools, select, failed, delete, okay. And I'm left with the strategies that passed this test. That is strategies that are profitable from September 2018 until the last day I have data. The next test may be a test on a different time frame. The original time frame was H1, so now I will choose M30. In data, I will choose recent dates to have the whole history, and in ranking, I will keep only the profit factor 1.2. And I turn on the generating again to test my strategies on the entire range. There are a great many of these workflows on how to robustness test. I'm showing you just one of them now. The available course uh, then includes several other methods. Now I will put tool select failed again and delete the strategies that failed. Here you can see the number of strategies we have left. Uh, they passed the new data from 2018 to 2. 2022 and also the test on a different time frame. Now in the data tab I will select time frame H1 again and show you one more test and this will be the last robustness test I will show you. I will find it in the cross check tab. Here we use Monte Carlo test. Great test that we like. It's a statistical method. In the settings I will select the first option randomize traits order and I will set the number of simulations to 200. It's a common test. I will set it up and then I will explain what this test actually does. So method exact and I will delete all the conditions from the second tab. This is just to show how the tests work. So I will run the generating and we will wait for the results. Now, for example, I will open the very first strategy. And if I look in the Monte Carlo test tab, you will see Monte Carlo test. And this is a jumble of curves. There's a dark blue one, which is our strategy. And there are another 200 curves around that. And these are different simulations. What is this and what does it tell me? The principle of this Monte Carlo simulation is very simple. The idea is that we get a nice equity curve and a nice risk and drawdown ratio, not only because the strategy works, but also because of the order of the trades, how we got the trades in sequence. If we got them in a different order, that equity curve wouldn't look so nice. And what this Monte Carlo does is it takes the trades and shuffles them randomly. It then tells us what it might look like statistically if we do 200 of these simulations. The Monte Carlo test does 200 simulations. We work with a confidence level of 95%, which means that 95% of the curves, the simulations that we have from here had this result or better. It shows us realistic expectations. We should expect the strategy in the real environment to perform about half as badly as in the backtest. And based on that, we will decide whether or not we want to use the strategy. Of course, even the Monte Carlo test, we use bulk testing and we can test more. Monte Carlo tests are quite important for us, but they are not the only ones. We also test on other similar markets to see how the strategy behaves on data with a different data structure. A fairly advanced test that we would yet to show you is also Monte Carlo, but on parameters. In the cross check tab, I will turn off the Monte Carlo trades manipulation option and turn on Monte Carlo riches methods. In the settings, I will only choose the last option. 
and I will set, for example, 30 simulations because this test is slower. And I'll set probability and max change to 20. In the filtering tab, I will clear the options again, click on save button and let the test run. Then I will show you again what the test does and what it's for. As I said, we do more of these tests, different time frames, different Monte Carlo tests and so on. And the purpose of each robustness test is to see how sensitive the strategy is to other conditions. We work with the past, but in the future, there may be different changes in the market. And based on these quality tests, robustness tests, we test the strategy for potential changes. And we want the strategy to be as insensitive as possible to those changes. If it is not too sensitive to them, then it is quite likely that the strategy will be profitable in the future. Again, we open up one strategy and we see a Monte Carlo simulation. And this is a very important indicator because it tests what's called overfitting. And overfitting is a very common problem that occurs with automated strategies. The test works like this. Every strategy has some parameters. And this test takes each of those parameters and with a probability of 20%, so for each simulation, it takes every fifth parameter and changes it value by plus or minus 20%. That way I can see how the strategy reacts to the change in parameters and whether or not it's overfitted. And by running a few of these important tests, whether they are different time frames, different markets, different vertical simulations, or they may be more advanced tests like walk forward metrics, I can get an idea of what to expect from the strategy in the future and what its chances are of being profitable. We can automate the whole workflow with a custom project tool and make everything even faster and more efficient. So this was a demonstration of how to build a strategy in StrategyQuant. It's fast, efficient and very easy to work with. And as you could already see in the slideshow, the results can be very nice. I go back to the, to the slideshow now. And let's start with the strategy and its result in less than a year, in about 10 months. Of course, you can get the kind of results you see here also if you use Strategic One and give it the hour or so a day. You can also work in the community, collaborate with other traders, of course. It's up to you. And how you can do that too. Let's talk now. How to start from scratch and become a professional, a truly professional algo trader. We have a complete path for you from the beginning to becoming a pro algo trader so that you can build truly pro strategies and trade not only your own money, but for example, other people's money or silly your own strategies. It's up to you. You will be able to build such strategies when you go through our whole process with us. As I mentioned before, my colleagues have been developing Strategic One for over 10 years. They have a lot of experience and this particular one is the result of one of our users. So how to do it and what have we prepared for you? First and foremost, so you are not starting from scratch. We've got a package of proven strategies for Forex, Futures and Gold. So you have something to bounce off of. These are strategies that you can use without limit, you can test them, you can deploy them. They have two or three years of history. My colleagues created them in 2019. And the most experienced trader here in our team is Conor Mazur, who has been involved in futures since the beginning. And here is a sample portfolio of future strategies, which you will get that has several years of successful history. On top of that, of course, you get strategies for gold and forex, as I mentioned. Plus, you get the ebook How to Build Future Strategies with a detailed process for building future strategies. Everything from A to Z, how futures work, how to work with them, how to build strategies. This ebook is worth at least $50. It's 
probably much more, but you know, we prefer to be conservative. Here you can see samples from the Mansion ebook. On the left picture is a sample of one of Cornell's strategies, which has a very nice result. And you can learn to build such strategies with the help of this ebook. In addition, you get templates for building stable and profitable future strategies, both for stock indexes, commodities, and more. We don't sell the templates separately, but a standard value would be at least two. 150 because they are a great value. Here is a sample template. It has a lot of patterns in it that it works with and really builds a quality and robust future strategies. So again, an easy way to bounce back and get started. Of course, that's your thing. We have a community on Discord and in the discussion forum for this because we want you not to be alone in this. Plus, we know that collaboration works very well. A lot of our users, traders who use Strategic One, collaborate with each other and share their strategies with each other. As a result, they work more efficiently better and have a much better use of their time because they are sharing their time with someone else. For that, we have an online course. I mentioned this before. It has about 52 lessons that explain everything. And there you will find a few more workflows that you can learn to build strategies from. The value of the course is 350, but it's not sold separately. We've sold it in the past, but now we've made it an exclusive gift for everyone who has a Strategic One license. So you will get it automatically with Strategic One. Everything is neatly categorized for easy reference. We'll guide you through Strategic One, both the theoretical and practical parts there. You also get a license for AlgoWizard software. This is not only part of Strategic One, but we also have it as a standalone online software. With this software, which is worth 290 if you were to buy the license separately, you can build strategies, you can save them, you can share them, you can back the strategies here. It's a complete tool for creating, testing and sharing your own strategies. It's an add-on that you can work with very well. Also, you get the Quant Analyzer software, which costs 350 as standard. This is software in which you can test strategies in more detail and most importantly, create portfolios. Here is a sample of Quant Analyzer. You can see that it really has a lot of features. For example, you can also measure correlation in it to build the best possible portfolios that will give you the best results. As I mentioned at the beginning, our goal is not to have two or four strategies. Our goal is really to have a portfolio, an all weather portfolio where you have strategies for stock indexes, for commodities, forex, gold, some for when the market goes sideways or when the market goes up. A quality portfolio of top strategies that will perform very steadily over the long term. You simply cannot build a portfolio like that except with this tool because it would take you like a godzillion years. You don't have time for that. You can do it much faster with this tool. And the last thing we have here is a brand new thing. Quant Trader. The last tool we've working on now, an automated trading tool, a tool through which you connect to a broker and through which you can trade automated strategies. At the moment, we are preparing it for stock picking. There will definitely be a bonus ebook for that one, which you will get additionally, of course, for free. So you can build and test because stock picking is a great strategy, a great way to use automatic algorithms. But there is no platform yet. We are developing it and around mid-April, we'll have a better version hopefully available and you will get a chance to join the beta testing and try everything out just like you will want. And you will get three months of the full app for free as a gift, when it's gonna be ready, of course. All of this stuff, if you were to buy it separately, and of course not everything can be bought separately because some parts are exclusive to the license only, the total value of this package is 1,838. So 
a huge value and you get all of these all of these bonuses that I mentioned for absolutely free with your strategic one license. You don't pay anything for them at all. We want you as traders who use our strategic one software to have the best tools and the best education so that you can really use the software effectively to the maximum. We don't want you to be lost in all of this and flounder unnecessarily. That's why you get all these bonuses for free. And we have special bonuses for you on strategic one licenses too. At the moment, you can get a professional license, which is normally priced at 1,790 for 1,190 plus all the bonuses mentioned above for free, including all the training, just everything. The license is free for three months, including data for futures and stocks, because normally they charge a fee. And included, of course, is support and upgrades for one year. After that, there is a fee. And if you want the absolute best, we have the Strategic One X Ultimate License, which is the top of the line advanced tool and the standard price is 4,900. But for you right now, we have it for 2,000. 590. With that, you get all the features that are in the pro version, plus all the data is free forever. You never pay for it again. And the same goes for support and upgrades. You will never pay us anything extra. You will have our support, upgrades, equity and futures data forever. Plus ultimate features, which is for example, strategic wand SQ for business. So you can sell your strategies and therefore have additional income which we know from experience can be thousands of dollars a month, for example. So in about like three months, once you know how to build strategies and sell them, of course, the license will be paid. Also, there are various premium modules such as advanced trading management, which I will show you again in strategic want here. So in the ultimate license, this module is even enhanced with additional features and options. And we are also planning further extensions for ultimate license holders. So if you want to have the best tool and go all out to become a successful algo trader, then strategic one X ultimate is exactly the solution you are looking for. You have a few days when you can take advantage of this. The link to buy licenses is sq.academy slash algo trader. You can also purchase licenses on an installment basis specifically for 12 regular installments, just toggle this button to the desired option and you will see the corresponding prices. In the case of installment payment, the price is only increased by the fees associated with payment, which is a few dollars in total. So if you don't want to or can't pay the license in one lump sum, you can choose this option. Now it's all up to you, decide which way you want to go, whether it's strategic one pro or ultimate and just choose the best solution for you. On top of that, you get all the bonuses I mentioned completely free. And if you are interested in the masterclass courses, the current promotional price is 390, uh, but the completely standard is 790. But if you get the Ultima lessons, we will give you an additional $100 off. So you can get the masterclass bundle for 290. By the way, important thing, the price shown is excluding VAT. So it depends on exactly where you're from. Some places don't charge VAT at all. Some places will add local VAT. So expect that the final price may be a bit higher which unfortunately we can't do anything about. We don't know where you're from, so we have no idea what the VAT will be. Please know this so that there is no misunderstanding. Well, and that brings us to the end of today's webinar. It was quite long, so thank you so much for being part of it, for seeing how Strategic One works and what it can do. We've put and continue to put an incredible amount of time and effort into it. So we believe that we've created a cutting edge tool. If you have 
any questions, please email us at support at strategicone.com. We look forward to welcoming you to our community and you become part of it at this link. But the link should eventually be in the chat and you will definitely get it by the email. You have a few days to take advantage of this. Then we will close this opportunity to become a member of our community at such a low price. I do thank you again so much for your attention. Have a nice rest of the day and I look forward to seeing you in our community.